In this tutorial, I will show you shortly how your transport section of the Digital Jockey works. You can start the playback of the track by simply hitting play. Hitting it once again will pause the track. Note that you can set a cue point in play or pause mode by pressing the inset cue button. For even more precise control, use the jog wheel in pause mode and hit set cue at the desired point. Pressing the cue button during playback lets you jump back to the last set cue point and pauses the playback. Hitting the cue button again in pause mode lets you trigger the cue point as long as the button is held down. The cop button acts in a similar way, yet the playback does not stop but continue after letting the button go. In this way you can easily trigger and mix your track from the right point. But there are also two more ways of setting a cue point apart from the set cue button. Pressing the cue or cop button while searching for a frame by turning the jog wheel in pause mode will also let you set a new cue point. Also here pressing the Q will start the playback temporarily and hitting COP will playback continuously. Tractor Pro users can also control deck C and D through holding the shift button while using the transport control.